Hello everyone, how are you today? We will complete now primary five math first term. Okay, we will complete primary five math first term. Mr. Abinov with you. Let's start. Lesson number four. Lesson number four about multiplying decimals. Okay, how we can multiply two decimal numbers and multiplying a decimal by a whole number. Okay, we will learn in this lesson how to multiply decimals number and multiplying a decimal by a whole number. How to multiply decimal number by a whole number. Okay, all of you focus with me to understand this lesson. At first, how to multiply two decimals? How we can multiply two decimals number? We have three steps. Number one, Ignore the decimal point in each of the two numbers. Okay, ignore the decimal point in each of the two numbers. Number two, multiply the two whole numbers without decimal point. Number three, add the number of decimal places in both. Okay, after you multiply the two whole numbers without decimal point, add the number of decimal places in both for example how we can multiply 2.45 by 0 0.7 we will not we will ignore the decimal point in each of the two numbers ignore the decimal points in each of the two numbers decimal point good boy and decimal point to good boy so 240 5 multiply 7 all of you can multiply it okay 5 multiply 7 equal what sober 35 5 and carry up 3 4 multiply 7 equal 28 after 28 29 30 31 put 1 and carry up 3 2 multiply 7 equal 14 after 14 15 16 17 so we put 17 is this easy? We ignore the decimal point, decimal point, and decimal point to good boy. Number two, multiply the two whole numbers, the result of 1715. Number three is very important. Add the number of decimal places in both. We will add the number of decimal places. In here, decimal point after how many digits? In here, decimal point after two digits from the right to the left. So we write two. And in here, decimal point after how many digits? Point seven, like in here, after one digit. So we write one. Two plus one equal one, equal three. So we will put decimal point after three digits from the right to the left in the result. We will put decimal point after three digits from the right to the left. One, two, three, put decimal point in here. So the result will be 1.715. 1.715. Do you understand? Again, if you can, how to multiply two decimal numbers, we have three steps. Number one, ignore the decimal point in each of the following numbers. Number two, multiply the two whole numbers without a decimal point. Number three, add the number of decimal places in both. Okay, so 2.45 multiply 0 0.7, we multiply to 245 multiply 7 without decimal points, so the result 1715, and after you multiply, add the number of decimal places in both. The first number decimal point after two digits, and the second number decimal point after one digit, 2 plus 1 equals 3, so we put decimal point after three digits from the right to the left don't forget to put decimal point so add the number of decimal places in both the first number two and the second number one so we put decimal point after three digits from the right to the left okay if you can't understand again solve with me multiply 0 0.9 by 0 0.46 Number one, ignore the decimal point. Decimal point to good boy. So we will multiply 46. Okay. Multiply 
باي وات سوبر باي ناين ويز اوت ديسمال باي اوكي 6 ملتبلاي 9 ايكوال وات سوبر 54 وي بوت 4 اند كاري اب 5 4 ملتبلاي 9 ايكوال وات 36 36 بلس 5 افتر 36 37 38 39 40 41 وي بوت 41 سو ذا ريزلت 414 But in here we have decimal point after two digits, and in here we have decimal point after one digit. So we will put decimal point after what? Super three two plus one equal three. We put decimal point after three digits from the right to the left. One two three. We put in here decimal point and the put zero. So the result will be zero point four hundred fourteen. Zero point four hundred and fourteen. Who can solve example number two? Let's solve and make sure for the answer with me. Okay, in here, we put two numbers, ignore the decimal point, 219 multiply 48 without decimal points. Okay, we will multiply eight at first. 8 multiply 9 equal so about 72 we put 2 and carry up 7 8 multiply 1 equal 8 8 plus 7 equal so about 15 we put 5 and carry up 1 2 multiply 8 equal 16 plus 1 equal 17 plus and the what so about 0 you remember and we will multiply now 4 4 multiply 9 equal what so about 36 Put six and carry up three. Four multiply one equal four. Five, six, seven. Put seven. And four multiply two equal eight. Okay, find the sum. Two plus zero equal two. Five plus six equal eleven. We put one and carry up one. One plus seven equal eight. Eight plus seven equal what? So about fifteen. Five and carry up one. One plus one equal two. Two plus eight equal 10 okay and we put don't forget to put decimal point decimal point in here we don't have decimal point so after zero digit and in here decimal point after one digit so zero plus one equal one so we put decimal point after one digit from the right to the left so the result will be 1051.2 1051.2 is this easy do you understand it well? How to multiply two decimal numbers? Okay, example number two. Multiply 725.6 by 0 0.1. Okay, when we multiply any number by one, we get the same number. So we write the same number, 7256. But in here, decimal point after how many digits? Super one. Plus near decimal point after how many digits? Super one. So one plus one equal what? Two. So we put decimal point after super two digits from the right to the left. So we put decimal point here. So the result will be 72.56. Okay, number two. 539.42 multiply 0 0.01. Okay, multiply by one. So we will put the same number. Five. 3, 9, 4, 2. Okay. How we, we, where we can put the decimal point? In here, decimal point after how many digits? Super 2. Plus, in here, decimal point after how many digits? Super 2. 2 plus 2 equal what? Super 4. So we will put decimal point after 2 digits from the right to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4. We put decimal point in here. Okay, is this easy? Okay, another one. 2.431 multiply 0 0.001. When we multiply by 1, we put the same number. 2, 4, 3, 1. But where we can put the decimal point? Okay, in here decimal point after how many digits? Super 3 plus. In here decimal point after how many digits? Super 3. So we will put decimal point after how many digits? 3 plus 3 equal 1. 
super six. So we will put this middle point after six divisions from the right to the left. One, two, three, four. We will put two zeros point in here and we will put zero. Okay? So in general, when we multiply by 0 0.1, move the decimal point one place to the left. Okay, move the decimal point one place to the left. To multiply by 0 0.01, move the decimal point two places to the left. Like number two, when we multiply by 0 0.01, move the decimal point two places to the left we come in here five point three thousand nine hundred forty two and the two multiply by zero point zero zero one decimal point after three digits so move the decimal point three places to the left like in here move decimal point three places to the left one and we need to put two zeros do you understand okay Remember, when we multiply by 10, we move the decimal point one place to the right. But in here, when we multiply by 0 0.1, move the decimal point one place also, but to the left. When we multiply by 100, we multiply, move the decimal point two places to the right. But when we multiply by 0 0.01, move the decimal point two places to the left and when we multiply by 1000 move the decimal point three digits to the right but when we multiply by 0 0.001 move the decimal point three places also but to the left to the left do you understand it well okay estimation okay estimate the following product then compare your estimation to the actual product 5.4 multiply 2.7 okay 5.4 is estimated to what who can say estimated meaning about what as a whole number meaning approximation to the nearest unit so we will ask for for you are strong or you are weak i am weak number so we put five and 2.7 is estimated to what to the nearest unit Super, estimated to three, because seven in here, very strong. So equal three. Then the estimation, five multiply three equal what? Super 15. This is the result of estimation. Okay, act one product, when we multiply 5.4 by 2.7, how we can multiply it? Super, number one, ignore the decimal point, decimal point of it by. So we write 54 multiply, 27 at first 7 multiply 4 equal what we can say super 28 put 8 and carry up to 7 multiply 5 equal 35 plus 2 equal 37 plus and the put 0 we will multiply 2 now 2 multiply 4 equal what super 8 2 multiply 5 equal 10 so the result will be 8 plus 0 equal 8, 7 plus 8 equal 15, 5 and carry up 1, 1 plus 3 equal 4, and we put 1. And 5.4 decimal point after 1 digits, and 2.7 decimal point after 1 digits, 1 plus 1 equal what? Super equal 2, so we put decimal point after 2 digits from the right to the left. So the result will be 14.58. And the 14.58 near to 15. So we say it's clear that estimation is acceptable. It's clear that estimation is acceptable because 14.58 near to 15. Is this easy? Okay. Number three, choose the correct answer. 2.3 multiply 4. Okay, number one, ignore the decimal point. 23 multiply 4. And after you multiply, put the decimal point. Okay, according to the sum. 4 multiply 3 equal 12. 
2 and carry up 1 2 multiply 4 equal 8 plus 1 equal 9 okay and in here we have decimal point after one digit and in here after zero we don't have any decimal point one plus zero equal one one so we will put decimal point after one digit from the right to the left so the result will be nine point two okay letter b zero point two multiplied six point three okay ignore the decimal point it's three multiply two two multiply three equal six two multiply six equal super 12 so 126 but in here we have decimal point after one digit and in here we have decimal point after one digit so one plus one equal what super two so we will put decimal point after two digits from the right to the left so the result will be 1.26 the first one okay let us see 0 0.56 multiply 0 0.2 okay ignore the decimal point 56 multiply 2 but don't forget to put the decimal point at the end 2 multiply 6 equal 12 2 and carry up 1 2 multiply 5 equal what? super 10 plus 1 equal 11 okay but in here we have decimal point after 2 digits and in here we have decimal point after 1 digits from the right to the left 2 plus 1 equal what? super 3 so we will put decimal point after 3 digits from the right to the left 1, 2, 3 put point in here and 0 so the result will be 0 0.112 okay letter D 0 0.676 multiply 0 0.1 we say when we multiply by 0 0.1 who remember decimal point move to the super left how many digits excellent one only digit so decimal point move in here one so the result will be zero point zero six seven six okay letter e zero point five hundred fifty five multiply zero point three okay in here decimal point after how many digits super three near this one point after how many digits super one three plus one equal what four so we will put this one point after four digits from the right to the left so which one is the correct without multiply in here this one point after one digit no in here this one point after two digits no in here this one point after three digits no but in here this one point after four digits from the right to the left so this correct with our multiply okay so the result will be 0 0.1665 okay is this easy okay I hope all of you understand this lesson because this is very very important lesson how to multiply two decimals number or multiply decimal number by a whole number Okay, thank you for listening and goodbye.